I think it's great to ask, you know, the question is like, what is, what is church? Um, church isn't something we go to. Church is something we are. Um, church, I mean, I, if I had to try to define it in three or four words, it would be a uh, community of people who worship, they're a community, and mission. It doesn't matter if they have a building, it doesn't matter if they meet under a tree or, you know, in a movie theater or in someone's home. If that church simply multiplied itself once a year and then, you know, each one did that subsequently, did you know in 10 years you'd have over 10 million people that would be a part of that movement? So uh, a, lot of, a lot of times people will ask, what's the relationship of church planning with church kind of renewal or church, you know, vitalization? And actually, like uh, studies have shown that churches that plant churches tend to actually be the healthiest churches that are out there. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, whom has God sent us to? Because if we are a sent people by a God who sends, then what people group, what neighborhood, what places has God sent me? And, uh, and this is something every individual and every community needs to ask. And when you understand that fundamentally our God is a missional God, that, that changes the whole approach because now we're joining in what He's doing. There's often mission was kind of looked at like something that came alongside or outside the church. But now we realize we have to, we, we, we have a mission all around us. We, we just have to look next door, across the street, uh, in our neighborhoods, in our cities, and realize that we are sent, but whom has God sent us to? I think it's when we're on mission that we, our prayer life increases because we, we, we take some risks. Uh, we give of our resources, we give of ourselves, and, and, and we, we kind of risk uh, connecting with people who may reject us or may accept us. And what we're here as V3 is like, we'll help you kind of reach the people that God has sent you to. One of the things that we're doing at V3 is we have a couple of different learning communities that we're going to start. One is for people who are exploring church plant, or maybe they want to consider planting. There will be some communicators, facilitators, and coaches to help people work through the things that you need to work through when you're exploring. So the second thing we want to do is have learning communities for the pre-plant phase. And these are people who we, are going to, we, we feel called to plant within the next year. So having a whole learning community in that year to work through it within the existing congregation. And we want to kind of create space for everybody to kind of contribute, not just their, their resources and money, but themselves in, in seeing a sense of movement accomplished. What, what excites me about being a part of the Virginia Baptist is, it, it seems to me that we're looking toward the future and we're not kind of just looking to the past. We have to learn from the past. We have to be rooted in the past, but we live in a new world and we need to be oriented toward what God is doing now and what he's gonna be doing. To go out in faith, we're, we're willing to risk, we're willing to give toward the future, trusting that God will take our, our couple fish and loaves and, and bless it and, and see a new beginning and a new movement take place.